What's up YouTube gods and goddesses out there? It's your boy Mike from Duckwalk Professional out here for another glorious day living the dream in Brigantine out here battling these lawns and we're out on the stop where we got 13 lawns on this street and then another couple on the other street down there so just come here in the morning get started rocking and just keep going till you're done it's the lifestyle for the lawn gods out there you lawn gods know what I'm talking about you'd love to have 13 lawns all right grouped up to each other and not have to move the truck once that's living the dream right there One of the great things about living the dream and being out here battling these lawns is when you have the great customers and they hook you up. Uh, this gentleman, they were out clamming and brought over some clams for the boys. Damn, look how big they are. They ain't no little necks, man. Those are some big ass clams. Holy shit. Five second roll. But, man, I'd say that's like hooking it up pretty good. The mop guy can't wait to get home, get the shucking knife, get a coldy, and have some tenders from the sea, boys. Ew! Alright, we just got done cutting the grass here over at Riptide at Captain Andy's. If you ever need any fishing supplies in Brigantine, or any kind of bait or anything, make sure you check out Riptide and tell Captain Andy that Mop God Mike sent you. Our cows kick grass and eat it too. And I guess they're, a, they're Trump supporters. And they want to coexist. Always got to be careful with the trees and the way they overhang when parking with the trailer. I mean, you don't want to fuck your trailer up and you don't want to fuck the trees up. Summer sun, I'm smoking under canopies. Creation is a masterpiece. You control the life you lead. Happiness is actually a choice, no matter how you see. Keep your head up, it's all good. Keep on doing what you should. Remember where you're from. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Tonight I'm drinking bubbly. Tomorrow will be Bombay. Wonder if they fuck with me. I wonder if I should stay. Thinking about the better times rolling up. We two unwind memories to ease the mind. Or bittersweetness seats inside. Buckle up, enjoy the ride. Paint a picture with your ride. You never have to lie. Spread your wings till you can fly I'm chilling on the hammock Getting hammered Underneath the redwood trees Rolling trees never bammer Life is too sweet Like a movie Every day is new Take a chance with me I'm enamored Asking me questions Like I got the answer Life is not promised That's the fucking answer Get lost in the music And all the laughter Go chase what the fuck you're after Go on with your bad self you know it's summertime in the south when the magnolia trees in bloom. Most living creatures know their way up and down, even grass. It can tell when it's flipped upside down, it starts growing the right way. These are supposed to be roots coming out on this end, but it's flipped upside down, growing towards the sun. These bi-weekly properties with all the rain we've been having, but on the good side, we got a beautiful sunset coming there, so I can't wait till that starts coming forward, and we're just out here hitting it hard still. Now that's a real homo right there. Homeowner, I call him. Homeowners just love using that type of stuff. Even if I was a homeowner and I was doing my own lawn, I would buy one of the like a $200 Echo trimmer or one of these Husqvarna trimmers. Can't beat them for dealing with that type of deal. That's for the birds. 
those are for the boys. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the, I got everything trimmed out in this backyard here. This is the epic scenario that I deal with here at this property because it's a, a relatively bigger backyard compared to the front, but I get smoked with this little tiny fence that we got in here. So, I mean, I, what's the point on having that big bad mower if you can't get it back in? you know, into a backyard like this to cut the main meat of the grass with it. Um, so then my debate is, do I even bother to take everything out of the trailer to get the 36 out? Or do I just rock out with the 30 incher, you know, and just get it done for the boys real quick? You know, because you see, like, look at this setup, like to get that 36 out there in the back corner. I gotta take out the Time Master. I gotta take out the 52, leave everything there, and then start that up, move a couple of barrels around so that I can swing that out. Or I can just go like this and rock out with the 30 inch. But it's, you know, there's pros and cons, so that's where I'm at. Today I'm gonna rock out with the 30 inch. I'm gonna time myself. I'm gonna see how long it takes so I can get a measurement and we're gonna go from there, boys. Ew. Find you a hobby, turn it to a passion. Don't let them on the gas pedal. Hit the dash like there's nothing is crashing. I roll it up by the ocean. And I get lost in emotion. Waves hit my legs, I'm just coasting. Packing the wood that I'm smoking. I feel like floating, I feel like I'm overdosing. With positive vibes, that's why I keep on going. I get lost in the motion. Alright, the finished up product before the blow job. You can see it's not cleaned up quite yet, but it's looking pretty good. Um, did that with the Time Master. Okay, my personal claim um, is that I can pretty much push that Time Master about as fast as that 36 inch runs back there. Um, losing a little bit of cut, six inches. So what do the boys think? Let me know in the comments. Should I bring all that equipment out to use the 36 or should I just keep rocking with that 30 inch Time Master right there? Okay, we got that one done. Delmar, on to the next one, Beacon. For the boys. There's epic scenes all around you boys. It just depends on what you choose to look at at this moment in time. Alright, for another brutal situation in the long care lifestyle, you can see we're in one of my properties here. It's just a little tiny backyard and I get smoked out because of this fence right here. It's only big enough to get like a little tiny, I don't even know if you can get a 20, 22 inch in there, but it's way too small for the big 52 that I got over there and it's way too small for even the 30 inch Time Master. So I gotta get in here and I gotta weed whack this like a ninja. But it's all good for the boys. We got one right down the way. So then I just gotta hop this little fence right here. Oh, hope we don't hit the family jewels on the way. And then we'll get on our way out of here to the next property. Anyway, this, this whole stop is brutal because it's on a cul-de-sac. When I first got these properties, I had the box truck. I used to run the box truck right down into that cul-de-sac. But now with the trailer, there's no way I can run in there. There's not enough uh, room with all the cars parked in there for me to be able to go in there and scoop around. And uh, so I pull out here on the street and then I run everything up over there. And I'm in and out in 15 minutes and made 30 bucks. So it's, you know. It is what it is. Pain in the ass, but it's, you know, it's decent paying and I'm still making money, so. Whew. All right, boys, we're gonna be rolling up. I was debating whether I was gonna go home or not, but heck, what else do I got to do besides editing a whole bunch of video 
a footage for the vlogs for the, for the boys, but you know, I'd rather knock out a couple more, at least one more of these lawns, make the list for tomorrow a little bit easier. So, let's either stay out a little bit later, get some more lawns done, or go home and do some video editing for the boys. So, gotta stay out, get one more done, and when we'll go home, we'll video edit. What else do I got to do, really? Talking about the mop god here, really. All right, just finished all that property up. It's looking beautiful. Mm. All right, crazy thing just happened right now. I just pulled up home for the end of the day and I got out and I looked at my trailer and I'm like, what the heck is this dripping right there? And then I realized I took a piss in a can and left it back there and it spilled and that was piss dripping out. <laughs> Looks like somebody new coming into the neighborhood or just someone old bringing in some new shit. Boys, we got the Tigger boy out on a mission and we are going for a walk. Sometimes you just need to find beauty in the simple things, like some clouds in the sky and a piece of plastic dancing in the wind around the lake. Check that birdie out. What you doing, boy? Man, look how, look how murky that water is. I don't think I'd be jumping in there anytime soon. It smells like shit, too. Man, check them clouds out today. They look gnarly. What's the government doing to them? Why are they so choppy? Hey, little birdie. What you doing there, buddy? You alright? Yeah, you just getting out the wind, huh? That's a good idea. Having so much fun, forgot I was working. This bitch like a cut I'm in the cut Rolling doobies up Never gave a fuck I've been doing me Since a little one I'm